to marinate for like 20 minutes or 15 minutes. Welcome back to my channel. My name is African Village Cook. Yes, thank you for clicking this video. And I'm known for not sitting well, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Anyway, it's very hot today, as usual. It's always very hot here. And I'm cooking. I'm cooking. This is uh, this introduction. I'm doing it after the food. I mean, after I've uh, recorded. So I'll put this on in front. Then, you know. Yeah. So welcome to my channel. Kindly watch until the place I'm doing this. It's going to be an amazing video for you guys. And thank you. Oh, 
I'm getting into the two days country. Hello. How are you? Fine, fine. You okay? Because I love you. <laughs> I don't think I look like a tourist or something <laughs> because of my cape. So they're talking to me in English. <laughs> Nonetheless, see how beautiful <laughs> this is. It's crazy. And I'm always getting lost here. If you don't know these places, you can just go through somebody's car. And they don't know. But they don't have a problem with this. If I just get in. Guys, this is going to be my most expensive content so far. I hope it gets the money back for sure. <laughs> the spices. Hmm. You've seen on the title. Jack chicken. Jack spices are crazily expensive. Like, that is why you start to just use tomatoes and onions. And chili. Where is the root? The way. Decided, I mean today I decided to do the most expensive content I've ever done like oh my god guys see see all these spices for only one meal your foods are very expensive and you know what I mean you know which country I'm in right now <laughs> I think the spices are expensive here because many people don't use it so it's considered like luxury going all in for you guys like <laughs> what? I even got a knife like this one is a knife for me and also for protecting myself I'm getting I'm cooking some jack chicken and I'm telling you 
all these spices for only one meal. The problem here is the sand. Like you have you have to be very careful with the with the sand. So the first thing to do here is make the jack sauce. Yes. So because this is a village and uh, I don't have a blender, I'm gonna figure out something to make the sauce. Yeah. So my knife is very sharp. And this is lemon. Have to wash the chicken with the lemon. And let it sit there for a while. And then I'll wash it out. Then the nails are cut and short, like it should be. Have to be very careful with my knife because it's new and it's very sharp. I want to cut them. Cut, cut. I have onions, garlic, tomatoes. Green pepper, green bell pepper. I still have more. I have the white onions. I have this. This is so expensive. Not so expensive, but like according to what we are used to. You're not used to buying. Um, you're not used to buying uh, ingredients like highly priced like this. I have more garlic. Wow, this is a lot. This is mint. It's a lot. I have to wash it and use it all. I'm also going to use this. This one I'm going to just use half for now, half for later. Yes. So these are the spices that I have, black pepper, chili, cinnamon, our oh, tea masala is for my tea, I have vinegar, white vinegar, I have thyme leaves, I have nutmeg, coconut oil, I have um, soy sauce, mushroom duck, I also have mixed spices, 
last but not least cloves yeah so these are the things i'm going to use to make the sauce but first of all i have to because i don't have a blender i have to make sure that all these are mixed together yeah so that's the first step of this video yeah so that means i have to light the fire I'm going to wash it. That's how dirty it is when you uh, when you wash it with lime lemon. The water comes out like this. Yeah. I paid so much uh, money for this saucepan have to protect it so those who don't know the reason why I'm doing this is just to make to make it easy to wash because the oil will protect it from getting dirty from the smoke there's no blender and uh, I also don't have the grater that thing to to grate the I mean I also don't have the grater to grate the ginger so I'll just cut it into small pieces Wow, it's hot. 
so the ginger is fried i'm going to add the onion and garlic Add in my coconut oil. Today I had to buy my own pot because it's clean and looks good. So this one I'm just using it to protect the wind from the sea. The sea is just a few meters from here. Not the sea but the ocean. Indian ocean. So right now I'm going to make all these cook. This is the moment when I can add the bell peppers, the red one. I can add everything here so that they cook once, like all of it. Oh my god. Then add in some salt. So right now I'm going to make the the other sauce. I'm going to make the other sauce. So I'm going to start with nutmeg. Then I'm going to add black pepper. And 
going to add chili. This is the only chili that I'm using. I did get the other chilies. Maybe add a little. I'm going to add cloves. Cloves powder. I'm going to add mixed spices. There's no time for that so mix spices. Mix spices, then what do they add? I'm going to add. I'm going to add thyme. I'm going to add cinnamon. Cinnamon. Have the cubes, chicken flavor. I'm going to add in soy sauce. Ooh, that's a lot. That must be a lot. Then I add in some oil. But not least, I'm going to add vinegar. I don't know if vinegar is supposed to be added or not. Correct me if I'm wrong. Then I add in some vinegar. I put back everything that I don't need now. So that I have space here. There's no banana leaves. I would have loved to use banana leaves, but there's no banana leaves. So, what I'll use is foil. Homemade sauce that's not so much 
as the one like jack chicken one just because i didn't have a blender it didn't come out perfectly but i mean it's still it's still what is needed then i add in the other sauce oh i'm telling you this is going to be crazily delicious <laughs> Just put all of it like where will I put it? I don't have a fridge to you know put it at. I'm going to let it marinate for like 20 minutes or 15 minutes then I'll be back so this is supposed to be gr grilled it's supposed to be grilled and here we don't have a grill we don't have oven so we are going to use this After 15 minutes, this is how it looks like, and I'm going to put it here. I think I can put them in section because the foil is not big enough. I guess you figured out how this is going to be. And I'm of course going to add the spice so that it cooks with it. So when I was marinating, I was pouring in some sand here and eating it. So what I'm going to do, it's very hot sand, and just spread it, spread it. And I've covered it like several times because this is a sandy place. Ooh. It's a sandy place and I don't want the sand to get in the food. Red then I can put back the sand, the hot sand. This 
is very hot sound. This is very small, tiny, tiny. It gets way through, but I've covered it so well, I don't think it will. So I just need more sand. Then I'm going to light the fire back up here, if it's possible. Oh, it's so hot. I hope it didn't get inside. The soil did not get inside. I hope it's it's not in, in inside. It's just on the outer cover. Need the water to wash the sun. Put it here. Look at that sauce. To, yeah, yeah, that is how it looks like. It's cooked, it's actually well cooked. See, oh my god, hair burn. No, The sun is so hot. The sun is just too much. The camera might go off when it's too hot. Too sunny and it's too hot. So Ooh. oh, should not even mix with the sun. 
just put it here like this. Ooh, so hot. This is Blanco and Marco. They always enjoy my cooking every time. <laughs> they are the ones eating this food. This milk. <laughs> now this is the real Jamaican. Ikona spices, Kabisa. <laughs> nice one. Yes, good, good, good. Welcome. Yeah. Mm. This is the real Jamaican. Happy for the world. Hmm. Una jua vinyume pikuwa ndani ya mchanga ukundani. Ndoto yeah. kubali. Tiko ugali. Tiko ugali. Mm.
Maybe all the thoughts in your head ain't worth the damn. Maybe if you try, then you're gonna get hurt again. That's the whole point of even breathing. Better to have tried and failed and just give up and leave it. Listen, cause I promise I'll be stupid every day. I close my eyes and breathe until the thoughts all go away. But no one really thinks that I'm the shit. No one really means it when they say that I'm the shit. No one else believes in me, I think I'm gonna quit. That might be the number one single-handed dumbest shit I ever said. When I'm feeling negative, I close my eyes and go to bed. Jesus, what a waste of my time. Wish I Try. 